Juice. So now we're gonna get. Ooh, we've seen this before. Actually, no, I thought it was Diddy, but. Three, two, Slingshot going Lucina against go. Duck Hunt. Yeah. So. Interesting choice. Yeah, that is interesting. So I guess the banana gets destroyed by the, the can, maybe, perhaps? Yeah. Maybe like they know a, something that we don't. Somewhat set up character that Diddy Kong is. A character that can easily stop that by just, like, putting a thing on the screen. It's gonna be hard approaching for Slingshot. So going a character with a disjoint like Lucina and the speed, mind you. This character is fast and she has a sword. Mm -hmm. Like, look at the advantage that she's already built off of, like, just a couple exchanges here. Which hopefully they don't throw away. <laughs> yeah, and the benefit of having that sword is that you can blow up the can, and so you can kind of just use the can against Duck Hunt. You can just nice. blow it up, hit him with some damage, and then if they get hit both by the can and the sword, then Duck Hunt's going to be taking out a lot of percent. Ooh! <gasps> nice Ooh. combo there from Zane. That was sick. They know they're timing off those clay pigeons. Nice Good combo. Stuff. There's one player you do never want to get hit by Clay Pigeon. Is this Zane? Knows their stuff. So losing advantage like that is key to not let it happen again. Oh, nice dash in Dancing Blade. Took the stock quite easily. Now, if Slingshot can get that advantage that they gained earlier, where they just had Zane on the ledge and they were just edge guarding them for like free damage, that'd be ideal. But they have to watch out for Clay Pigeon as this damage is built up again. That DI! Going straight off off of two. Those up airs. Maybe dash attack. Slingshot has the idea with this matchup. It's just falling apart in certain interactions here. See if they can get this advantage back. Get some hits in. Nice. Don't want to be taking trades right now, especially with this can potentially going to kill you. Duck Hunt? If they don't get the right maneuvers, they can't kill you as fast, but... Zane... is one of those scary Duck Hunts that know how to kill, <laughs> so... Ooh, nice. Yeah. Zane knows a lot of niche setups to get kills. He's very important for a character like Duck Hunt. That was an ideal roll right there. Breaks right through the pressure and just puts the advantage back on their state. Oh, the clay pigeon gobbles! The king! I, like I like the way that Zane dashes in to get the, the side beat so that they get enough drift to follow up. Yeah. Very optimal positioning from Zane. Combo master. They might they made ICs too. Oh, do they? I didn't know that. Yeah, like early on in Smash 4 uh, Ultimate, they, they used ICs. Hmm. So they're definitely one. They're definitely the type of player that you don't want to get hit by. <laughs> okay. Oh. Almost lost a stock there, but this advantage is so good for Zane that just happened to say here, okay, deal with it. They did a really good job of lead trapping there against Susina. Was putting out an onslaught of projectiles just to need space. So it was like can. Down tilt. On and then camp. Oh, interesting. They did the double jump right there. I uh, guess they didn't want to go more forward because they were afraid of the up air. Mm -hmm. And they just put themselves right back in the corner. Which just made it easier for Zane. Just like gave advantage right back to them. And like I mentioned before, you don't want to trade when you're like in this type of positioning, you know, where trading could equal death. But the cannon was already out there, so what could possibly kill you off of trades here as Lucina? If you were trying to come in with a button, try to get an advantage back. We'll see what Slingshot does about it. Gonna go to game two. Staying with Lucina. So we talked about the Diddy matchup here a little bit, in theory. I haven't seen it before, but in theory, <laughs> I'd, I'd say it'd be a lot harder as Diddy compared to Lucina. Yeah, it just depends on... Yeah, go. I, I would imagine, just because disjoints and stuff like that. Yeah, Duck Hunt. Uh, people, like, like, a character a lot of people, like, sleep on, I'd say. Probably because they don't see enough of them. 
Yeah, definitely a very creative zoner that's still being optimized, I think. There, there are a lot more niche setups that are being worked out. Particularly with, like, the side being to, like, can. Like, trying to figure out ways in which they can kind of play into each other. Like, the Balito covers the roll. The can covers, like, your jumps. Mm -hmm. The Clay Pigeon is a, is a defensive tool. You can't hit buns on because you die for it. Oh, my God. Zane. Oh, Zane is so good at doing that. Just like covering so many different options. They're also doing a great job of using their own aerials to kind of pressure slingshot. So it's not just like, oh, projectile to projectile. It's, Ooh. I'm going to make you get hit by this. If you jump here, I'm going to up air. Oh, that would have been oh. insane. What? Dude, the drag <laughs> down, like up air? I didn't know you could DD up air and top smash. That's insane. Yeah, good DI like out there from the slingshot to avoid getting killed right there because they were dead. <laughs> I believe they were dead. Oh, yeah. Ooh, nice little wave land there. Goes deep for this edge guard. Misses. Oh, misses again. Gives that. It, just gives up the stage control just for that stock right there. Zane looking to run away with this. They're playing super clean right now. The slingshot just... They have the character for this. It's just... Just putting things on paper is different than actually executing it. So, and we're seeing witness to that right now. This forward smash? No, I'm not going to take it. Uh, it's not that easy. not that easy. Yeah, for sure. I feel like at this percent you can... Yeah, I was going to say rising up there at the platform. Yeah. Nowhere to go. Take that easy stock for you. But now you got to take two more as you're down by a lot. And what good... Clean confirm here from Zane's gonna take it. That was weird. Good conditioning of shield, but just poor execution on the grab, but still, like, having a stock lead, good. Zane is 100% okay with taking every single trade right here, as they're in more advantage than the other person right now. Nice smack of the can. Alright, the shield. I like the dash shield. That was mm. great. Yeah, very smart there, using the not so friendly can the bandito oh Fuera. shoots him right off the stage all zane had to do was cook him and just deliver him right into the buns oh man uh very solid stuff there from zane for sure playing super on point a gunshot got there He did the air one too, so it's just like guess where uh, he's, guess guess the timing on, on when that one's gonna shoot. <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice I was in the air. That makes it even more sick. Yeah. And they all have like their different timings too. Shouts to Zane there.